It's time to beat the clock. Lights of Broadway, sights of Broadway, sounds of Broadway all around. And there above shines the Pennsylvania, pioneering light, sight, and sound. Finer products, better products, tested quality. Made for you by Pennsylvania, pioneer for half a century. Beat the clock, drop by Pennsylvania, beat the clock. To entertain you, it's time to play Beat the Clock. And here, replacing Bud Collier, who is on vacation, is your old friend and guest clock watcher, John Reed King. Welcome you to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. But right now, we have a group here, a, a couple that were here last week. What was your name again, sir? Peter Solomon. Peter Solomon, and what do you do, sir? I'm an air route traffic controller. Uh -huh. For what firm do you work? Uh, Civil Aeronautics Administration. I see, and this is your wife. He'll tilt the mic over there so we can hear you. How long have you been married, Mrs. Solomon? Six years. And last week, I remembered you were juggling cups and saucers on card tables, and you went through the $100 clock, and then you did that one with the, the felt hat on the rubber bands, and it was real snappy, and you went through that one, the $200 clock. And incidentally, I want to explain to you and everybody that once during our program, every week a gong goes off, a bell starts to ring, and that means that whoever is a contestant at that moment gets a chance to try for our bonus question, which is tonight worth uh, $400. It's a bonus stunt, you see, so it's not really a question, and I just wanted to tell you because if it goes off while you're here, then you'll be in there uh, trying. But you're right now worked up to the point is, let me see, you're through the $100 clock, you're through the $200 clock, and you're all the way up ready to try for the... Mrs. Solomon was wondering how she was looking on television tonight because the kids are watching again. Uh, Mr. Solomon, we won't need you, so would you mind stepping out? This is where, and don't you fall over that, the only one we have. Uh, this is where Mrs. Solomon does all the work by herself. This is the jackpot trial. Will you stand right over there? Mr. Solomon, see you later. Nice to have met you. Good night. <laughs> now, the reason we ask you to step back is you can't help. Mrs. Solomon, you step right there, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pull this curtain aside, and on the magnetic board, we have the scrambled words of a famous quotation or saying. You will have 20 seconds to put them in their proper order on horizontal lines. You get the idea? Let's open the curtain, step up on the platform, and go. You drop one? Yeah. I'll get it. Go. Yeah. Where, where's it go? go? All right, you did it! All right! <laughs> uh, you girl! Hey, isn't that swell? I am delighted. That's swell. How'd you get it? Well, she did all right there. And I tell you what, we have a lovely prize that you won right now. Let's step right over here and see what it is. Roxanne Joe. Oh, boy. Mr. and Mrs. Solomon, your prize is the Sylvania Jefferson with 20-inch screen and Sylvania's exclusive halo light surround lighting for viewing comfort. This handsome set incorporates all of Sylvania's outstanding features, such as the exclusive triple lock tuning for perfect reception. The cabinet of the Jefferson is of rich mahogany finish and contains a powerful Sylvania chassis, which will bring you truly movie clear television and studio clear sound. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Solomon. You have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. This is cool. Good luck to you. Good luck to those kids, too. All right. Roxanne, we have our next contestants coming out here. Hey, we got a whole bunch. John, I'd like you to meet Michelle and Marcus and Mr. and Mrs. Marcus Moran. Uh-huh. From where are you from, Mr. Moran? Just step right up here. Uh, Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Good. What do you do, Mr. Moran? I am a retail hardware store supervisor. All right. And Mrs. Moran, will you step right in here? How long have you been married? Eleven years. Is this your whole gang? Oh, well, we have two more at home, I sir. see. What's your name, dear? Michelle Moran. How old are you? Seven. How old's your mother? Don't you answer that. All right. Now, look, uh, what is your name, boy? Marcus Moran. Where are you from? Fitchburg. How old are you? Nine. Here's a balloon. Blow. Now, no, no, no. I tell you what. I want to give each of you a balloon here so you have something to play with while mother and dad are working here. Uh, are you going to put it away there? Well, here's another one. What do you have in the pocketbook? Isn't that lovely? 
A bathing suit. Well, good. Now, uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. You two kids stand over here. Here's another balloon. Put it in your pocket. Now, uh, you two kids stay here while Mother and Dad come over here and get ready to tackle our $100 clock. Here are Betty and Madeline back again. Nice of you to come again. All right. Now, here, of course, is a mattress cover, Mr. and Mrs. Moran. What is your first name? Claire. May I call you Claire? Yes, Mr. Thank you, Mrs. Moran. Now, uh, what we're going to do, we got this mattress cover. When you think about it, it's nothing. Uh, what we're going to do here, we got this mattress cover, and when I say go, you can use your hands, your feet, anything you want to, but you both got to get in the mattress cover at the same time, you see, and then it's, it's easier if you get into it sort of gliding across the floor and then stand up so that this edge is touching the floor. Now, let me see how many seconds you have to do that on the Sylvania clock. 45 seconds. Now, let me get out of the way here so you have, you get ready up there. They got signals here. All right, ready? Okay, ready, get set, go. All right, that's the spirit into there. There, we started the clock already. Can I be of any help to you? Go ahead, Mr. Moran. Oh, you're going to put her in the uh, thing first there. All right. She, now, come on, Mr. Moran. Get in there. Mr. Moran, you're pushing your wife through the wrong end there. All right. Thank you. All right, Mr. Moran. There we are. This is going to be a tight fit. Hurry, Mr. Moran. All right. Now, stand up. I think now is the time to stand up, both of you. Stand up. Stand up, Mr. Moran. Now, pull it down. Shake it a little bit down there. And they have beat the clock. Good. All right. <laughs> Could you do that, honey? I don't know. Your father's so thin, I don't know how he got in there. All right, well, come on around here. You were good sports, and you worked on it fine. Now, wasn't that fun? All right. Uh, now, wait, wait a minute. There's the bonus bell. There's the bonus bell. Wait a minute, Mother and Dad. Come on out here. Bring out that bonus table. Bring out the bonus table, girls. Oh, good for you. This... We stop the game right away and get right to the $400 bonus. Mrs. Moran, come on over here where I got the fishing pole with the string and the plate on it. You are to hold it standing right where I am standing, Mrs. Moran. And Mr. Moran, you come over. May I suggest you use two hands to keep it steadier? Mr. Moran, you must stand this way, facing that way. Now make a good try. Where'd you go? I thought you'd left yeah. out. <laughs> All right. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. All right. Well, you put your left hand behind you and hold this stick with your right hand only, and you will notice that there is a little place here so that you have more area. The object of this game in the time allotted is to get the plate resting like that leisurely and this string may not be taut. If you can do that in 45 seconds, I think that's the time we have in this game, right? 45 seconds on the Sylvania clock, you'll win the $400 in cash, sir. Okay? <laughs> that looks good. Doesn't that good? Sure does. All right, now, ready, go! Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Hurry up, Dad. Oh, hurry up. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Get it on the plate, Dad. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. For goodness sake. Your Dad. Hurry, boy. Five. Five. Yes. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Oh, well, I'm sorry you didn't get that. We'll add another $100 to the bonus. It'll be worth $500 next week, and back we go right over here. Now, look, that was a good try. It doesn't stop the clocks for you. You keep right on with beat the clock, and we go right up to the $200 clock. Dad was trying, dear. What Does he help Mother with the dishes at home? No, I didn't think so. All right. Well, we're going right over. You worked real hard that time, sir. And this time, sir, we're going to see to it that you don't have to do any work at all. You can just stand and watch this whole trick. You don't have to do a thing. You got the idea? Let me just zip you up here I'm so you'll be warm. I don't want you to catch cold here in New York. You come right on over here. And in this, we're going down to the pie factory, mother and dad only, uh, down to the pie factory. And uh, <laughs> won't this be fun? Yes, sir. Oh, here come the girls in the pie factory. Step over here so you don't get run over, Mr. Moran. Come right on over here. And Mr. Moran, you step right up and back where the girls are and give him a watching hat to wear during this because all you have to do, sir, is just stand there in the middle, put on the rubber hat and watch. Don't do a thing else. He's going to have nothing to do, Mr. Moran. <laughs> you have to do all the work. Well, there you are. Mr. Moran, are you ready? Do we have our watching hat on, Mr. Moran? Now, I want to explain to you exactly how this works, Mrs. Moran. We have two swell little puppets in this scene. Their names are Bill and Mark. Bill and Mark, would you come up, please? Thank you, boys. You look a little thinner today. All right, now, 
What they're going to do, once we say go, the puppets are going to pick up... Not yet, I didn't say go. Wait, they're going to pick up one of those cream pies, you see, and throw it right in your husband's face, and then the other one will pick up a cream pie and throw it in your husband's face, and your object is to stop them from throwing these cream pies. And the way you do that is take one of these bottles of seltzer water, shake it up good, and squirt it right at the puppet so you knock the pies out of their hand. You see the idea? Yes. Of course, you may hit your husband, but don't worry about that. All right, there you are. Now, are you ready, everybody? You ready, fellas? Are you ready, Mr. Moran? Let's see how many seconds we have on the Sylvania clock. Don't load that yet, ma'am. All right, 30 seconds. And remember, you have to knock the pies. You ready, fellas? All right, ready. Not too close, Mrs. Moran. You may drown him in the process. Ready, go. No, no. You knock it out of his hand there. That's a, there's, uh, quick, Mrs. Moran. Give him another. No, Mrs. Moran. Not the, here, Mrs. Moran. Here's another one, Mrs. Moran. There we are. Shoot it right out of his hand. That's the idea, Mrs. Moran. Right up. And she did it. She did it. She did it. She knocked one out of his hand over there. Good for you. She knocked one right out of his. You did fine, Mrs. Moran. How did you do? Show me how you did that again. Were you just how you pressed the trigger and the... Oh, like that. I see. All right. Well, Mrs. Brand, step back here. We want to have your picture taken. Here comes Roxanne with Sylvania Super Flash Flash Bug. Blue dots for sure shots. Take the picture just as they are today. And Mr. Moran, you go back there and get cleaned up. And Mrs. Moran, you come over here and let's give her a nice hand for a good job. All right? <laughs> Oh, the kids are so proud of you, too. Didn't, didn't Mother do well that time, honey? Yeah. Yeah, she hit Dad right in the face, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, now, kids, you have to step over there because Mother's going to try for the jackpot, and she can't have any help. So you go right over there where my daughter is, and you stand right over there, dear, beside the... Uh, and I'll explain this to you. Behind our curtain right here, we have our magnetic board with the scrambled words of a famous quotation or saying. It is up to you to unscramble them, place them in their proper order on horizontal lines, and win the jackpot. You get the idea? All right, let's open the curtain, step up on the platform, and go, Mrs. Moran. What in the world is that one? Moran, hurry. I'm sorry, you had that little wrong. It is Peter Piper picked a peck. Wait, I'll get him out of the way here. A peck of pickled peppers. I'm sorry you didn't get the jackpot, but you did awfully well. Let's give her a nice hand. And Mrs. Moran, come on here. Oh, you were a great girl. Great try. And I tell you what, let's look over here and see what you won. A king refrigerator with seven cubic feet of cold space a spacious frozen food compartment, and a big super crisper for fresh vegetables and fruit. Manufactured by the King Refrigerator Corporation, worth its weight in cold. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Moran. You've just won a Beat the Clock prize worth more than $200. Who is this? Next contestants are Mr. and Mrs. Renee Humbert from Naperville, Illinois, and they're celebrating their second wedding anniversary. Second wedding anniversary, I see. All right. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Humbert, what do you do, sir? Right over here. I'm, uh, I'm going to school right now. Where, sir? In uh, North Central College in Naperville, Illinois. Oh, I see. And uh, you've been married two years? Yes. How'd you meet him, Mrs. Humbert? You can't remember, <laughs> I see. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, he's, uh, who's the boss in the family, Mr. Humbert? She is. She is. She, uh, well, as long as we know that, that's the main thing. And you're down here in New York for this little uh, anniversary celebration. Also to see my parents. Yeah. Good. Do you watch the show at home? We do. All the time. All the time, I see. Well, I think that's very nice. And now here you are, contestants on the program. you are just been married two years and no children? No. no, I teach school. You teach school? What grade do you teach school? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Well, isn't that nice? That's very good. By the way, uh, Mrs. Moran, uh, could you get a little bit closer? Close to the microphone there. I just want to ask you one thing, Mrs. Moran. Humbert. Does, huh? Humbert. 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 Got married. Oh, no, that was the last lady. <laughs> I was so confused. Well, there you are. What was your name before you got married? Alberta. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mrs. Moran. Now, oh, you're Mrs. Humbert. All right. All right. Now, I think the uh, Humbert, the Morans, I don't know, they got married. They're back again. Anyway, the Humberts, they're all dressed up here. You look fine. You look like you're ready to tinker around the house. So come on over here. We'll try the $100 clock. This, incidentally, is a very, very easy stunt. Will you, uh, Mr. 
What is your first name? Renee, R-E-N-E. Renee, will you stand right there? And your first name is? Maureen. Maureen. Now, the object of this, we have this little weighted doll, the weight's in the bottom, and the idea that we would like to have you do is take the doll, tip it upside down, and put it head first down into the barrel. Now, to do this stunt, you can use your feet, your knees, your stomach, your chest, your mouth, your nose, your hair. The only thing you can't use is your hands. You get the idea? Elbows. Yeah. Huh? Elbows. What did you say? Elbows. Yes, they do, don't they? Uh, the, uh, what's your, uh, we want you to stand like this with your hands clasped oh. behind your head, see? This is a very nice pose for a teacher. Let's see how many seconds we have on the Sylvania clock for the stunt. 55 seconds. Hands behind your head. Ready? Remember, don't unclasp those hands or I'll have to yell stop. All right, let's see you get the Bobo doll into the thing there head first. Pardon me? No, you can't tip the barrel over. All right, ready? Get set, go. You can use your elbows, all right, but don't let go of the hands. That's the only thing. Hold that steady for you. Sorry, I just want to hold the barrel steady for you. Now, you got to get the head first, you know, there. All right. And we have about 25 seconds left. Don't you get in the barrel first, sir. All right, there, we got the head of the doll in. Hey, all right, hey, stop the clock! You did it! Hey, we had 17 seconds left to go. Just step right over here. That was very, very well done. You were using your head there. That was very smart. You're on this side, he's on that side, all right? Now, we got through, are you, uh, did we frighten you, dear? Somebody get a bucket of water and throw it over the lady, please. You stand over here, teacher, and Dad, you stand over there. Now, you got all right on that, and that was fine. That was the $100 clock, wasn't it? Did we smear your lipstick? No, I beg you. You did? Well, it's all right. You're the husband. Okay. Well, now let's get to the $200 clock and see what we do on this one. And this stunt is much easier. You really did the toughest one, and now, now comes the impossible one. I mean, no, no, now, now we come to a much easier one. I'm not kidding. You come on over here and let me show you what you're going to do in the $200 clock. We have these two uprights to which is affixed right here, and this has been nailed on this board that goes all the way across. You come back here, and all you have to do this time, I told you it was easier, all you have to do, take a little toy balloon, use your hands, your feet, whatever you want to do, push it under the board there. That's all you have to do. See how many seconds you have on the Sylvania clock. 45 seconds to push a little toy balloon under the board. You can use your hands this time. You can use your hands this time. Bring out the little toy balloon. There we are. I knew it would work. All right. All you do is push the little toy balloon right down underneath. You get this? What if it breaks? We get a new one for you right away. All right. Ready? No, no you can't lift that up. Ready? Go. Let's see you get right down. Oh, wait. You got another one. Quickly, girls. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right. Go right ahead there. Let's push this right down underneath there. That's the idea. Right down underneath. Five. Oh, wait, 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 quickly, quickly, girls, get another balloon here. Oh, we almost did it that time. All right, right down underneath, pushing, pushing all the way. Don't push too hard, you might break it. Push, 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 and they did it! I'm delighted that uh, you scared the life out of me when you broke that first balloon. I tell you, though, well, you did fine now, and we are through the 100, the $200 clock, and that means we come to the jackpot try. So we're going to ask you to step off stage. Your wife must do this all by herself. Thank you, sir, and you step right over there, ma'am. She's a kindergarten teacher. Step right here, honey, and I'll explain the whole thing to you again very carefully. Behind this curtain is our magnetized board on which, what's the matter? I'm hot. You're what? I'm hot. I thought you were his wife. Now, uh... The, uh, the uh, curtain has a uh, hiding this magnetized board here, you see. Are you warm? You are. Uh, there you are. All right. And on it are scrambled the words of a famous quotation or saying. Now, all you have to do is put the words in the proper order in horizontal lines, and you'll win the jackpot. You understand? Open the curtain, step on the platform, and go. All right, here we go. Yeah, go, ma'am. Oh, I don't know it at all. You don't know it at all? Well, do your best. You have no idea what the thing is? Oh, oh, wait. No. Oh, I'm 
sorry. She realized that in a minute there, what she was starting to put together was, you are a better man than I am Gunga Din. I'm sorry you didn't get that, but it was a good try, and you come on over here, both of you, you did fine, and I tell you what, we didn't get through the jackpot clock, but we did get through the $200 clock, and let's look over here and see what you won. For your home, an estate electric range with a built-in griddle for greaseless grilling and Estates Barbecue, a separate meat oven that cooks whole roasts with radiant charcoal-type heat. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Humbert. You've just won a Beat the Clock prize worth more than $200. Oh, wonderful. How about that be, Mr. Humbert, all right? Sure. Well, then, here we have here. The Army? The Army, by George. John, uh, this is Mr. and Mrs. Edward Sankovich. From Fairlawn, New Jersey. All right, and you are in the Army, and uh, what do you do in the Army? I'm stationed at Camp Kilmer for uh, Europe. I see. How long have you been case? married? A year and five days. A year and five days. And Ed, what is your first name, my dear? Joan. Joan, all right, Ed and Joan. We're happy to have you here on the program. How long have you been in the Army, Ed? Seven months. Seven months. You have a good speaking voice. What did you do before you joined the Army? I built homes. You did? You actually were a contractor or a con con contractor? Contractor, good for you. Did you ever build a house that you lived in? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I hope that day will be real soon here. A real nice couple. How'd you meet him, Joan? In high school. In high school. Good for you. And how did he propose? Just ask me. That's he just cool. asked you. Well, and now we've had our contestants out back here, Ed and Joan, getting them into some special equipment here. And uh, don't you look fine. Come on around here. We talk to the $100 clock here. And uh, I'll explain to you exactly what we want you to do. You stand here, my dear. And Ed, you come around here. And I want you both to hold hands like that. There we are. And I want to explain what happened. When they went out, we hit little brooms like they, uh, children play with on belts, uh, one around her waist and one around Ed's waist. Do you want to do any brooming down in camp? No. You, you'll never have done anything like this, Ed. Now, in this particular stunt, this gets to be real idiotic. I mean, real unusual after a while. What we're going to do here is do a little sweeping, but you've got to hold hands all during the thing. And girls, do you have the paper cups? We have paper cups, which we're going to put on the floor. And the object here, just by bodily manipulation, we want you to sweep your cup, and you sweep your cup across this black line right here at my feet. You get the idea? And you just sort of, uh, sort of uh, uh, sweep it, you know? All right, let me see how many seconds we have on the Sylvania clock for this stunt. 55 seconds. You got the idea now, Ed? Any questions before we start? Just across the line? Just across the line. It's the simplest yeah. thing you've ever done. <laughs> yes. Have you ever done the rumba? A huh? little. Uh-huh. Well, we're going to have the rumba right now without music on Beat the Clock for Sylvania. All right. Ready? Here we go. No kicking with the feet. <laughs> there, you're leading there, dear. All right, now. There we are. Now, a little twitch there, Edward. A little twitch. There we are. Not quite the twitch we meant. That's the spirit, Ed. Another twitch, Ed. Another twitch, boy. Yes, ma'am. Jones got the idea. Give her a twitch, Jones. Give her a little twitch. Ed's is across. Now get Jones across. All right. Now we're going to count Ed's across, even though it rolled back. Ed is across. Forget yours there, Ed. Now a little twitch, Joan. A little twitch. No, no, a little more of a twitch, Joan. Joan! A little twitch, Joan. Oh, give her a twitch, Joan. There we are, Joan. Hurry up, girl. Give her a twitch. Hey, oh! Give her a little twitch, Joan. We got 10 seconds. All right! All right, it was boom, man. Uh, that was uh, that was something. That's the first lesson we have in our dance school here for that. And uh, Ed, you get around there. We're going to unbuckle you, and we're going to unbuckle you and get you all lined up again. Ed, was it, was that fun, sir? That was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Come a little closer there. All right. That's our next our next lesson in the rumba it comes at another time. Uh, but now we've gotten all the way through the hundred dollar clock, and we got the broom off of you, sir. So we can get. Uh, did you lose your bracelet there? I was merely asking you to give it a little twitch. I didn't want you to shake the jewelry off. There we go. Wait a minute. Right there. I didn't like <laughs> yes. There we. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's no time. I'm sorry. We're running out of time here. Can you come back and join us again next week? Yes. All right. Well, I wish you would come back next week and carry right on where you were because we were all the way through the $100 clock and yet and set to tackle the $200 clock. And I want to tell all our friends uh, that next week, uh, your very good friend and mine, Bud Caillou, will be back from his vacation, and I know you're going to be glad to welcome him back. It's been fun being here for him. This is John Reed King, hoping, too, that next time will be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. <laughs> This has been a
a Mark Goodson, Bill Codman production. Produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Roxanne's Gone, a Larry Aldrich original. This is Vern Bennett reminding you to tune in every week at this very same time for Beat the Clock. <laughs>